I'm Dr. Nicole Robinson. I work at the Australian Centre for Robotic Vision as a research fellow, and I work on the Social Robotics Project. I'm really interested in trying to combine behavioural science with robotics to find a way that we can build humanoid and social robots and deploy them in societies as a way to integrate humans and machines together. Social robotics, a social robot is a robot that can communicate and interact with people or other machines. It's completely different to traditional types of robotics where they've been designed not to have any interaction with people, for example, in car manufacturing plants. Social robotics are specifically designed to have a communication or engagement with people. It's a relatively new type of robot that have come out in the last decade or so. For example, the robotic dogs that you might have seen in toys stores at the moment. So we're spending all of this time trying to make robots that look like humans and it's really interesting to see the responses that we have to social robots in this way. And artificial intelligence is playing a really big role in being able to empower the way that social robots can understand, behave and communicate with people in their daily life. In the future, there are going to be robots that are interacting and engaging with people in different areas of society. So for example, in autonomous cars, as a passenger, we need to have some sort of communication or interaction with the car so we can feel more comfortable in knowing where the car is going and being able to negotiate a potential path. There are other areas where robots are potentially going to need social skills as well. For example, if robots are delivering items along a pathway, being able to negotiate uh, walking down the pathway and making sure that we're not walking straight into each other. So it's important that social robots play a role in this because it's going to help with acceptance in terms of having robots in society, knowing that we can communicate and interact with the robot to have an understanding of what it's trying to do to be able to learn what goal it wants to achieve and if there's anything as a human we can do to help it. For example, if there's a robot in a workplace and it's looking for information from you or an item from you to complete its task, social robots will need to have some kind of communicative ability to be able to achieve this. And I think humans will feel a lot more trustworthy when it comes to having robots in their spaces if they know the robot can understand what the person wants what the person wants to do, and the robot can understand how the robot can support the person to get there. Social robotics is still relatively new. There's only a handful of social robots that are currently available right now. It all depends on the state of the art in terms of robotics and artificial intelligence. So to create a social robot, it needs to have some kind of communication and needs to have an understanding of what people can do and what people want from the robot. So there are a few models at the moment. Uh, some of them look more like animals that can mimic animal assisted therapy and others have a more humanoid shape and role that can be used, an example, in retail spaces or in healthcare spaces.